Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video and I asked you guys on my Instagram um, if you would rather see like a sped up or a talking one and it was honestly about half and half so I'm going to do a little bit of half and half. Um, half the parts will be sped up with music playing and then half of it I will actually be answering questions. So I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me some questions so I could kind of make this a Q&A video and I have a good amount of questions written down. Um, so like I said, I'm just going to be doing my makeup. Honestly, you guys are just going to be sitting here getting ready with me. It's not going to be a tutorial, so I'm really not going to say like exactly what a lot of the products are or anything like that. Um, but I can do tutorials in the future if you're interested. I just didn't know if anyone even wanted to see that. So definitely let me know down below. Um, give this video a thumbs up so I know it's not a total flop because I don't, I think I've done one get ready with me before on my channel. <coughs> I'm actually sick today. James was sick all last week and I thought I didn't get it and I woke up this morning feeling like I got hit by a freaking bus. I can't take a lot of medicine because I'm breastfeeding but I did take Tylenol and it helped a lot. So I'm trying to whip out this video while I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm not doing anything today, just filming videos. <laughs> so let's just get on into it. Okay, so these glasses work perfectly to hold my hair back. So first I'm going to moisturize my eye area. I love this moisturizer. It's um, Tiaki. Um, I used to use the face moisturizer, but right now I only have the eye cream. And that's because I usually get it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And so if they don't have it, then I don't get it. So like I said, I am sick. So if I sound a little nasally or anything, that's why. You don't have to let me know down, be down below that my voice is annoying. I already know. Okay, so I'm going to just prime my eyes and get on into the questions. So first question is, when will you buy a house? So um, James and I originally, we got married last June, so we've been married like a year and a half. And our original plan was to buy a house when our lease was up in February, which was like this past February. But he actually got a promotion at work, which made us move states. So yeah, we moved here and we didn't really know the area or anything. So we didn't want to just like flat out buy a house like right off the get-go. So hopefully within like a year or so we'll buy a house. I really want to buy a house. I especially like, I hate this kitchen in this apartment. If you've seen my cleaning videos, I always have them linked down below. You can see like my apartment better. I also have an apartment tour video. And you know, I'm just not a fan. I am not a fan of this apartment. I don't know why, maybe it's just because I miss North Carolina and I miss that apartment so much, but um, I'm just not a fan of this apartment. And so I can't wait to buy a house because if this was my house and my kitchen looked like that because it has like cherry oak cabinets, black granite, and um, green walls, first off I would paint the walls gray and then paint the cabinets white and then it would look a little bit better. But I can't do that because we don't own this place. So I just can't wait to buy a house and kind of make it my own and actually really decorate and do like fun projects and all of that. So hopefully within the year we'll be buying one. Okay, so that's the eye look so far. This eye is always a problem. Um, it is a little bit darker because, like I said, I'm not going anywhere today. This is just kind of a filming day. Um, and you kind of have to do your makeup a little more intense when you film videos because the lighting, especially when the sun goes down and I have my ring light on, it's um, gonna wash me out a lot. So I'm doing it a lot darker than normal and it might look a little funky right now, but once you wing out that eyeliner, it really pulls it all together. 
Now I really, now I really hope my wing works out. Um, I just use the Wet n Wild, like the cheapest of the cheap eyeliner, um, but it's like almost out, so I have been having some trouble with my wings the last couple days. So let's see. wings are done so um, to tightline and waterline my eye I'm gonna do I don't want to just do a black I'm gonna use this green okay let me start asking some questions so um, What was the hardest thing about becoming a mother? So, I would say, and this is like such a weird thing, but it's definitely easier like the longer it time goes on, but the hardest thing at first was just having somebody else to be responsible for, if that makes sense. Like, like little things. Like, um, on Fridays or Saturdays when me and James would like watch a movie together and, um, or like watch live PD, which is our favorite. Like, um, normally I would fall asleep on the couch. Like if we watched a movie and we started to get tired, I would just kind of fall asleep and then maybe he would stay up and keep watching movies and then I'd wake up a little bit later and I would be on my phone and then I'd like fall back asleep for a little bit longer and just kind of, you know, did whatever I wanted. And so that was kind of weird, I think, when I first had him, is like if we were watching a movie on the couch and I started to feel tired, which of course at this point, whew, I was so much tired than I'm used to, um, I couldn't just fall asleep because I'd have to be like, okay, like, I had to be like, okay, let's just get up and go to bed. Like, um, I couldn't just fall asleep and then come back to you whenever I wanted to because I had a little human with me, so I had to make sure that he, you know, had his diaper changed and was swaddled and was in a safe sleep situation, like on his back and in a bassinet. Move you guys closer to me so you could see more what I'm doing. was like the hardest thing is like not just being able to fall asleep when I wanted to or like this is weird but I miss like laying in bed and watching YouTube videos until I pass out and not caring like what time it is where now um as soon as he falls asleep I like close my eyes and try to get to sleep because I can't just sit on my phone and watch YouTube videos because if I spend like two hours wasting time watching YouTube videos that's two hours less sleep that I'll get because I know the second he falls asleep I only have like three or four hours until he wakes up again so it's kind of like you just can't relax as much which duh, obviously you can't when you have a baby but that was definitely the hardest thing to adjust to but other than that I think it's been fairly easy okay now I'm gonna moisturize my whole face and I'm using this Lacura face care day cream anti-wrinkle honestly I got it from Aldi because I really needed a face lotion um, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's a little more oily than I would like. And like I said, it's just from Aldi. It was probably like four bucks or so. I'm all about cheapness, but I probably need to invest in better skincare to be honest. So what are your favorite TV shows? So of all time, I would say that my favorite TV shows were like The Office, Dexter, Breaking Bad, um, 
But like my all time favorite TV show, all time favorite TV show is The Challenge. Um, it's like, it used to be like Road Rules, Real World Road Rules, or um, they've had like different, you know, different names for a lot of the seasons. But The Challenge, I watch it every single season. I've seen every season. I don't ever miss an episode. I love it. And I'm using my Sigma F80. I have used this brush for honestly like five years. Sigma. I see you sponsoring people lately. I would like some free soft chocolate. I love this brush. <clears throat> so I just do a little concealer and then I don't really wear foundation. Um, <clears throat> sometimes I just put some powder on to like mattify me. But I'm not really <clears throat> a big foundation wearer unless like I'm going somewhere fancy. But I just put on some matte powder just to kind of mattify everything so that I'm not oily from that lotion. Now for some bronzer, I've just been using this Wet n Wild contouring palette. And I just use the orangey side. Someone said, what is your hair color? I actually do my hair myself. And it is, um, when it was super red, because I've had like fire engine red hair, that was the Garnier Nutrice Light Intense Auburn. And this one is, I think, Revlon Dark Red. I just kind of play around. If I feel like it's getting too red, I'll do a dark red. And then if I feel like it's too dark, I'll do a light red. But I've had red hair now for like four years and I like it I think it like suits me best you can you can't really see in this lighting I guess you kind of can but this is like the darkest red it's ever been but I always have some kind of red hue to it I don't like when my hair is just like brown so just adding some Sun to my face Are you planning on going back to work no I'm not I'm gonna be a stay-at-home mom the decision was kind of made for us because we moved to a different state, like five hours, six hours from all of our family when I was pregnant. So we wouldn't have anybody to watch William and then just paying for daycare wouldn't be worth it. Um, it would cost like how much I would make to put him in daycare. So I would rather just be a stay at home mom. And that's why I have time to do these YouTube videos and you know, that's part of the reason I wanted to do YouTube is to kind of have something that I could do and feel like I had a purpose because I know that whenever I don't do them for a while, like right after I had him, I don't, I just start to feel like eh about everything because I'll just be sitting around and I'll feel really lazy where this makes me feel like I have something to do every day and like record and then, or like film and edit and all of that. So I really like making YouTube videos. Comment down below what's your least favorite part of your beauty routine. Mine is my eyebrows. I absolutely hate doing my eyebrows. I hate it. Okay, finished doing my eyebrows. I just hate doing them, so I just wanted to do them off camera. So, next question. What was your prior occupation? So, some of you know, um, but some of you don't. I was actually a manager at a European wax center, so... If you've ever heard of European Wax Center, we do full body waxing, so absolutely everything. It was a great, great company to work for. It really is. If you're somebody who is um, a cosmetologist or an esthetician or somebody that just wants to work up front and you're considering European Wax Center, it is an amazing company to work for. Um, they, I mean, just everything about it is awesome. I was the center manager, so I had my own center that I completely managed. There was no like assistant manager, no co-manager, anything. It was completely my center. So if I did all the hiring, firing, scheduling, if um, somebody called out, I had to go in and cover them. Um, if the fire extinguisher had to have its annual checkup, I had to go and take it to that. Um, the power went out, I had to figure it out. And honestly, I just hated it. I was really miserable in my position for the past the last few months had nothing to do with the company I just am a very very passive non-confrontational person and managing was really hard for me because I feel like I kind of got walked over a lot because 
people would call out for like the stupidest things like they would be like oh my car is making a funny noise like okay charlotte's a big city like everybody ubers everywhere like get an uber or i would have girls that would say stuff like that like my car is being funny and i'd be like okay like what's your address i'll come pick you up and i'll take you to work and i'll bring you home and they'd be like uh actually my stomach hurts too or like it's like stupid stuff like that where they were totally taking advantage of me and it was so stressful. I can't tell you how many times on like a Sunday I would get out of church and I'd have two missed calls from people calling out and find out that like, and we were about to open in like 20 minutes and I would have to call like absolutely everybody that worked for any European Wax Center stores in Charlotte and try to find a replacement. And then if I couldn't find one, I had to go in and work on my day off. And it was just like you had to put in like almost 50 hours a week. It was just a lot. Um, so that's what I did prior. And prior to that, I managed a massage MB and then prior to that I managed an appliance repair place um so I've always been in management but last year was truly when I was like I'm over this I'm so over this it seems like the older I get the more passive and non-confrontational and relaxed I get and so the less I want to do stuff like that like when I was like 19 and I was like assistant manager at a massage MB I was like, I didn't care. I was like, oh, sorry, you gotta come to work. I don't care. Where, as I get older, I'm like, oh, I mean, oh, can you just try to come to work? Like, I don't know. I got softer. I'm gonna put a little shadow underneath because I have all this gold going on up here, and then I have yellow and or green in the waterline. It really brings out the green in my eyes because my eyes are brown, but the outsides, I don't know. You can't even tell. If I had my ringlet on, you could sometimes has like greens in it so I kind of like to emphasize that because I totally wish I had blue or green eyes. Um, light green underneath and you can't keep it like light, light like that or you look like a cuckoo bird. So some dark green over top. And you still look like a cuckoo bird until you put some mascara. And then I just need to do blush. Yeah, I need to get through some more of these questions. Um, how did you and James meet? I should make a whole video about this. We actually met on OkCupid and Plenty of Fish, which is two online dating sites. And it's a pretty funny story. We met on both of them, and I I think I'll make a video about it because that's like a pretty good idea. But that's what we met on was um, plenty of fish and OK Cupid. How has your relationship? I got a couple questions that were like, how has your relationship changed since you've been a mom? Do you and your husband love each other more after William, and stuff like that? Um, I would say it's definitely like a more intense love, like a different an even different type of partnership because it's like we are parents together we're William's mom and dad um, thankfully we have really transitioned into parenthood well James is like such a big help and um, takes responsibility and like we we never had any time we haven't had a single time where we like got mad at each other or frustrated because I know like with sleepless nights you can like people get frustrated or at least in movies that's how it shows but we really are both like really laid back people neither of us have much of a temper so like at night I do breastfeed but like if I need him to go change William I'll be like hey can you go change him and he'll get right up and go change him and give him back to me and we kind of made everything like everything's like jokey to us which is nice so if William's having like a complete meltdown we don't start panicking and get mad we'll just be like oh somebody's grumpy today like and we were just joking or like the first few times we gave him a bath it was a complete mess like we sucked at giving baths we're good now and William likes them now but William hated them we hated them because we sucked at them he would scream the whole bath and we like didn't get frustrated with each other or anything and like one time he like had like the hugest fit in the bathtub and we just both started cracking up laughing like so it definitely it hasn't caused like any conflict or anything I think it's just made us stronger but it is kind of a weird transition because I think the first couple months after having him I like almost felt like like I would be like let's are we gonna like snuggle and be in love tonight like it just felt like I was kind of just 
only being a mom and not a wife. Like I felt like I spent so much time trying to make sure I was doing everything for William that like me and James never really like snuggle up and watched movies together or you know just like spent time together and that's huge your marriage has to be like the strongest you have to make sure you put time into your marriage um so but I definitely feel like it's better now I feel like we're in a good routine and stuff but I really think that we've adjusted well of parenthood um <coughs> What do you do to calm your anxiety? I'm gonna actually make a whole video about my anxiety. A whole video, and I'm not the greatest at calming it because it's still something that I struggle with every day. I need to get better about it, but if I'm having like, if I was having a full-blown panic attack, like panic attack where I couldn't breathe, a lot of times I have to get water or something cold, like a cold water bottle or a really cold washcloth and I'll put it on my forehead or behind my neck. And I have to do something like watch YouTube videos or like I have to tell someone for some reason like I can't sit there and have a panic attack and not feel like I'm gonna breathe because it'll get worse and worse where if I like I started having a panic attack I think um, in the car once with James and I was trying to be like calm about it and then once I was like I'm having a panic attack and I just started like telling him I was having a panic attack and like freaking out like outwardly freaking out I started to feel better about it like I couldn't hold it in um, but definitely like if I'm home I will go lay in bed under the covers get something cold put it on my forehead drink water and watch YouTube videos and sometimes like I'll like like do something where I'm like tapping on something and I'll like shake my legs and but I'm not the best to ask because I really haven't conquered my anxiety I've had high anxiety disorder since I was Eight is when I had my first panic attack and then I think we went to the hospital I'll have to ask my mom I'm not sure because I like full-on couldn't breathe and then I got diagnosed with depression when I was 18 I got diagnosed with severe clinical depression due to untreated anxiety when I was what did I just say I was 18 I don't know what I just said um, and then I was on medication for a year for that and then everything's been kind of good um, but I still have always had anxiety and then when I was pregnant I actually got diagnosed with OCD It was brought up when I was 18 and in therapy for the depression and anxiety that they thought What type of anxiety I had was OCD related and um, It wasn't until my pregnancy when I went to a therapist because I was having really bad anxiety again that she was like I I definitely see the OCD I'm I'm diagnosing you with that yeah that's a definite and now since I know that it's an OCD thing I totally see it and it's not I'm gonna make a whole video about it and it was, um, the next question is will James ever be in your videos probably not he is so he's like such a shy private person he doesn't like to share a lot of his life I'm definitely like the outgoing social butterfly of the relationship where he's more reserved um, he's so like fun and goofy and like sweet to me but it's funny because like when he meets people or if like you were to meet him in person you'd probably think he wasn't because he's just really like closed off um, so this definitely isn't his thing he like totally supports me though he's always like when's the last time you posted a video and he's always telling me how proud he is of me um, for like sticking to it and he gets excited when I get new subscribers and he has on his phone where it notifies him if I post a video but I don't think he'll ever be in my videos unfortunately um did you worry that a baby would affect your relationship I definitely um did me and James have always had a really strong relationship but you just don't know like how it's gonna be so that was something I definitely worried about that we wouldn't have enough time together or we would be like stressed and overly tired so like I said I'm really happy with like how the transition's been <clears throat> let's see someone asked if I had any feeding suggestions because she does formula as well as um pumping and like how much much to mix unfortunately I don't um my son's exclusively breastfed and I actually don't even pump because I'm a stay-at-home mom I totally should I'm just lazy I don't want to like put in another feeding time to get milk um and the few times <coughs> that me and James have like wanted to go on a date or something when we were in North Carolina visiting my mom and she would watch him we just gave him a little formula because he has had formula before because he was in the NICU so they were giving him formula 
So we've done that, but he only gets that like once every month or so for like one night. But normally he's just exclusively breastfed, so I'm not sure like even how much he gets. Um, thankfully, I don't. I've never really had an issue. It seems that my milk has kept up. Like he's never like I haven't had to you know eat lactation cookies or anything like that. It seems to have kind of caught up whenever he needed it. So unfortunately, I don't have any suggestions but I did have another mom ask if she said she has an eight day old baby and if I time feedings because um her baby's having trouble gaining weight and she said that he had lost a lot of weight since um her, it might be a girl I don't know since being born William was eight pounds six ounces when he was born and by the time we left the hospital he was seven pounds seven ounces so he lost more than like the ten percent that they're okay with you losing and they almost made us stay another day because of that but thankfully they let us go home um, so he was kind of struggling at first too and he wasn't latching on very well and the NICU thing and giving him formula made it tougher so when we got home I did kind of time feedings a little bit I would try to do 20 minutes on each side and he would fall asleep the whole time so I would rub right here um, to make him like start swallowing and stuff and it would wake him up or I would take a cold washcloth and rub it on his arms or his stomach or, her, or his legs because that's what they did in the hospital <clears throat> you guys I'm pretty much done with my makeup so <laughs> this is the finished look but let me answer any questions that I have left over has becoming Catholic changed your way of living? It definitely has. Um, I got baptized Catholic in March of 2015, and it definitely has, um, I would say, just I'm more conscious about things I do. Like, here's a random example, but when we went to a restaurant, I have more of like a conscience now, which I always have had a huge conscience, but this one, like, it's a little overdrive. Like, I, um, we went to a restaurant, and I think I had ordered, like, extra cheese or something and they forgot to charge me and it's like a dollar and I noticed on the bill it wasn't on there and normally I'd be like well I got some free cheese like I wouldn't steal anything normally but like if it was something that I knew it wouldn't bother me where now it's definitely something I think about where I like called her back over and I'm like hey you forgot to add this just so you know and she was like oh thank you so much um, that sounds bad that I would have liked done that before because I probably wouldn't have but just things like that like I, I think a lot more about like my actions and like little things that normally you brush off and aren't like a big deal um, favorite food probably sushi I like shrimp tempura rolls California rolls. I always have to get a side of eel sauce or a side of, I have to get a side of eel sauce and spicy mayo and I always have to dip my sushi into those. <clears throat> Advice for new YouTubers. I would definitely say to be consistent. Um, that's like the number one thing. I was not consistent during my pregnancy and I feel like I'm paying for it a little bit because I definitely don't get as much views as I used to. Um, prior to my pregnancy uh, and I that's definitely my fault I wasn't consistent you have to stay consistent um, another thing is making sure that you have good titles and good thumbnails things that make people want to watch your video not like clickbait but um, just making sure to showcase what's in the video in your title and in your thumbnail obviously being yourself making friends um, and also you don't have to have a fancy camera or anything. I'm filming right now on my iPhone 7 Plus, so. But yeah, this is my makeup. I'm going to film a tag video now that me and my friend Haley from Halo Beauty actually created. And so that's why I did my makeup, even though it's like the sun's about to go down. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed. This is the final look. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Tell me if you watched all the way to the end or if you got so bored that you just couldn't. And I hope you guys liked it. Um, follow my Instagram. I'll link that down below. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day.